Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Snowball White Man, and I am here to show you how to screw yourself over. A long awaited answer of the question What do I have to do that everything I do goes to the dogs? Congratulations everyone and welcome to today's topic and part one of the trilogy Group Presentation Organization. If you are interested in drowning every group presentation you participate in in a pond of awful, devastating, self-destructive behavior, you came to the right place. Whereas the avoidance of everything you're about to see could lead to a more successful outcome in your group presentations. Whoa! Who could have thought that? First of all, I'm going to explain what you have to do to make sure that you have no clue about the presentation task. But we won't stop there. Moreover, you thought in-group communication is important? Well, you're wrong. You're about to understand that the natural order is disorder. Furthermore, the bomb is about to blow up when we finally reach the power relationship between our group members. It's not about democracy, it's about monarchy. So please welcome today's adorable assistants, Kathy, Nora, and Tanisha. Their task is the following, trapped together in a lesson of their media degree program. Their professor, Dr. Fred, is giving them a few sheets of paper on which they can read the instruction of their final task of his course. They have to do a group presentation about stuff, but each of them has to do a specific part of the whole presentation. One should analyze stuff. One should explain the results of the stuff analysis, and the last one should be responsible for the CAD, Computer Aided Design Layout and the Graphical Quality of the Presentation. Let's get it started. 1. Understanding the task. Sabotaging yourself doesn't start in the middle or the late stage of an assignment. No, it starts at the beginning. Did you thought it would be a good idea to choose a task you're comfortable with? Well, let's see how our gifted girls are doing. Kathy is a lazy cow, but she somehow manages it to be good at explaining stuff. Nora, on the other hand, is a hard-working bee, and the only thing she's good at is reciting books, because, like mostly other proper students, you only have to memorize shit. But if she has to explain something, she t t turns into a... In t she turns into a... St stutter stuttering I idiot. Stutter stuttering idiot. Anyway, Tanisha struggles between the analysis and the computer-aided design. But unlike Nora, who is also a complete tech freak with an extreme powerful PC, Tanisha only got an ultrabook without a mouse. But she has skimp, and all things considered, all lovely ladies make the right choice. The lazy cow is doing the analysis, the stuttering idiot is going to explain it, and Tanisha is doing the computer-aided design layout. Amazing, isn't it? But they won't stop there. You remember the paper sheets with the task instructions? Well, our study students are going to make sure that they understand what they have to do. Assuming that they're mentally fit enough to read a few pages, they decide to fly over the important paragraphs and just listen to Mr. Fred's short briefing, because barely knowledge is more than enough. Or did you thought that adequate knowledge of the task definition is required for a successful result? Hell no! 2. Communication Today's technological advancements make communication easier than ever, but that won't stop anyone from wrecking it into microscopical pieces. After a few days, saw three wholesome women decide to upgrade their in-group communication level. In short, they start a WhatsApp group to increase the information exchange in order to boost their working progress. Moreover, they want to keep everyone up to date with their development. Therefore, Noah starts to write into the WhatsApp group what she plans to do, and she asks the other two to do the same. But suddenly, Tanisha decides to share a cute picture of her caddy cat. 
Casey is so electrified, she shares a picture of her drowsy dog. And instantly, they start a conversation about the pesky pets, the fatty food, the leery lovers, the selfish stories, and their annoying addictions. And in the end, they all forgot what they wanted to do. Our three disturbed dames not just managed it to bury the plan and the documentary about everyone's working progress on the six feet long text. No, they also went all the way up to transform their own WhatsApp group into a filthy wasteland of first world problems. 3. Monarchy Before we get lost in a first world badland, let's see how to crush the in-group relations. Now that the first few weeks went by without any noticeable results, Nora is getting a little bit frustrated about the overall task development. Hence, she decides to sacrifice her treasured time to trespass the border of respect and invades her in-group members' working ground by forming the complete design of the presentation slides. Unfortunately, Nora's marvelous martyrdom doesn't get the recognition she thinks it deserves. In fact, Casey and Tanisha are a little bit angered. Jeez, I wonder why! However, Noah won't stop there. In fact, she, as the only one seemingly doing something, decides to increase her crucial casualties and puts herself in charge of the whole group project. One could see the resemblance between this and the start of a pathetic dictatorship, but not Kathy. She's way too lazy to sense the extraction of her in-group rights. Furthermore, cowardly cows like her will think this is good, in fact, great, because obviously she'll save horrible hours spent with wicked work. That would be a terrible tragedy. Tanisha, on the other hand, found a last bit of common sense and is aware of what's happening. To say the least, she's more than pissed. As a consequence, she starts to riot, boycotting the working progress, giving it an additional stun bonus. Great work, Tanisha, and great work, Nora. Although it's a group presentation, she realized that only her perspective is the right one, and if it wasn't for her sacrificially sacrifice, one could have thought the others did something. Impressive, Nora. You just dropped everyone's working task and called it a martyrdom. Way the fucking go. After all, our three fancy females managed to screw themselves big time, with absolutely no comprehension about their task and what part they should choose, they stabbed themselves in the back by butchering their communication method, and at the end they even ignored the fact that they're a group, and therefore Nora turned into a mad missy, Tanisha into a touchy termagant, and Kathy still is a lazy, careless cow. So, congratulations you goofy girls, you really are one fine example of screwing yourself over. And that's it for part one, you're welcome to watch the next two parts as well, if they're already available. Anyway, please, like, subscribe and share, or leave a comment below. Kind regards, Noble White Man.